this day, the government has categorically denied the existence of MJ-12. But recently, two documents have surfaced claiming that MJ-12 and their hidden agenda is very real. I've actually found the evidence that these secret groups do exist and that they are operational and they're doing exactly the job they're designed to do. Keep the UFO secret while investigating UFO technology. I don't need to believe it. The evidence is there. It is evidence sustainable in a court of law. But the most disturbing piece of information hidden within the document points to an unimaginable possibility. In the 40s, there were reports where actual coordinated landings of extraterrestrials took place with our U.S. Air Force. And certain treaties were actually formed with various alien races, where they agreed to give us access to technology. And the reason I really do believe that we have some sort of interaction with these species is during the time of those experiments, our industry skyrocketed, starting in like the, you know, 1945s, 1947. A lot of people will say, yeah, it's because of the war. But we're talking about technologies that hadn't existed before. How did that happen? We have access to these extraterrestrials to help us with our technology, but what are we giving them? Next, we find out what our government allegedly traded for the secrets to advanced alien technology. What was that agreement? Whose base really is this? And likely get a glimpse of who or what is behind it all. Large bulbous eyes, bald head, they are beings that come and take you in the night. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth.